When I was first diagnosed with cancer, there was no treatment for the cancer that I had, and I knew it. There was a stage four diagnosis, and there was no end point to that. The end point that I saw was a death sentence. Um, to say that I was derailed is an understatement. To say that I was sad is an understatement. It changed every single thing about my life in one moment. In one moment. It turned out to be something that I will never regret that I had. It taught me every lesson that I needed to know sooner in life than I would have learned it. I was treated at Sloan Kettering with chemotherapy prior to even hearing the word immunotherapy. I had tried everything for so long and it did not work. Uh, the cancer kept spreading. And it was my doctor, he pulled me into his office and he was just like, Sharon, we have a clinical trial here if you would like to be a part of. It's a new medicine that we have not tried before. Um, it's early on in the clinical trial phase of things. And it supercharges your immune system. It kind of takes, actually the words that he said were, it takes the brakes off your immune system. Because prior to this, chemotherapy, like an outside agent was treating cancer. It felt like immunotherapy, my immune system then was treating cancer. And that gave me um, a sense of control over an uncontrollable situation. So I started immunotherapy in the fall of 2005. And probably within just a few weeks, I started to feel better. But it's almost like I don't want to believe that I feel better because I have, you know, experienced so much heartbreak before this, but I wasn't on chemotherapy anymore. I wasn't on steroids anymore. So my body started to feel better just from that fact. And then I noticed closer to Christmas of that year that my breathing was better, but still it's almost like you're, you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop because that was my experience with cancer. But with immunotherapy, I kept feeling better, feeling better, feeling better until I got those scans. And that scan was when the shoe never dropped. <laughs> that very first scan result was a 60% reduction in my tumors. The radiologist couldn't believe that he had the correct patient. And from that moment on, the tumors kept shrinking. And it, it's almost like a fairy tale. I feel like saying, and from happily ever after. But that's really kind of what this is. It's, it's, it's a story that feels too good to be true, but I live it every day, so I know that it's not. You know, I remember walking into the cancer unit of the local hospital here and seeing a patient get the drug that I was given. That was an amazing thing. That patient got that immunotherapy off the bat. They didn't have to go through rounds and rounds of chemotherapy to fail. I think I raised my kids to know that each day is precious. That's, the cancer gives you the, the finality of life, meaning like, People usually go through their lives and they're like, oh, I can just do that tomorrow. Oh, I can just tell this person that I love them next week when I see them. No, you tell them right then and there. If this moment with your kids is important, put down your phone. It makes the time valuable because you know what it's like to lose it. That's why I continue to tell the story because this is not easy to do. It's kind of bringing me right back to the moment that was one of the hardest that I ever will go through in my life. But it's for other people that are going through this today that need to hear that somebody made it. Because I would have given anything, anything to have somebody make it when I was diagnosed. I looked and looked and no, I couldn't find anybody. I asked my doctor and there was no survivor group at that time. And I remember what that would have done for me to have a person to say, I can do it too, because they did.